and should be loved by anyone. The square is less stable than the circular shape. Even the paper tube, which is weaker than wood, can be good, strong uh, building material. I just uh, want to use the daily material as a building material. All the detail, everything is very simple. The camper is very special. It's not only different, but they are not trying to make some kind of the, the, the hierarchy or not, not class. The camper shoes can, is loved by any generation. That is the great thing about the camper. So their design and their target is not particular people at particular age. So that the, the building should be like that. I always look for the problem to solve by design. That's why this time the traveling is the, the, the problem. We have to move this pavilion many different locations. So the idea came from how to make the parking smaller. The main structure is made of the cardboard tube with different diameter. They have from 330 centimeter to 60 centimeter, 630, 40, 50 in between. Uh, I made uh, the different size of the columns in order to nest tubes inside of the bigger tubes in order to make a shipping element smaller. The shipping situation is very unusual as a building. So that's why design comes from the notion of moving. This tube is originally made for uh, concrete form. When you make a concrete building with a concrete round post, we make a paper tube as a concrete form. You put in the concrete inside and remove the paper. So that's originally this is used. I started developing this idea of using recycled paper when nobody was talking recycling, environmental consciousness and sustainability. The strength of the building has nothing to do with the strength of the material. Even the concrete building can be destroyed by earthquake very easily, but paper building cannot be destroyed by earthquake because it's lightweight. That's why even making the structure out of the cardboard tube, which is weaker than wood, can be very permanent and also very strong. Yeah. You guys gonna start with number two, okay? And then you guys gotta do number four. The system is built in quadrants. In every quadrant you have different pieces. But we, it's like mirrored, so basically we have, of each type, we have four of the same pieces. We have seven containers, so like five open top containers and two closed containers, but there's quite a bit of stuff. This is a typical tent shape with a compression bar inside to push up. The other tent, they have the center port to push up the middle. But if you have the post in the middle, the space is not very flexible. So in order to avoid it, there's a cable around to push up the center cable. It's about uh, 500 kilos of fabric. We have to get it around the ring and that ring is uh, it, it's all pretty tight. So we don't have much extra room to get it around. So that makes it difficult. And, and we have to work on height. It's six meters high, so that makes it not very simple. All the objects, the counters, everything is a movable element to make a uh, space flexible. So in, in order to have a different event, the, they can move. This is unique, definitely. As you can see, it's pretty cool looking. It? <laughs> it nothing else on site looks like this. And there's some pretty cool buildings on site here, as it is. I really respect the camper concept and uh, I'm very happy that they chose me to design their pavilion. Being uh, in front of the ocean, it looks much better uh, and uh, I'm very happy. <laughs>